a hotel. It's a Japanese yokan and it's called Andon Yokan. It's actually Japan's first designer yokan. And I stayed here last night and I check out at 11. It's about 7.30ish at the moment. But yeah, I just wanted to come up here because they've got this whole rooftop set in here and they've got beautiful artwork on the tables. And so I just wanted to watch the sunrise. And yeah, I'm gonna take you around the hotel today. It's really, really cool. It's an awesome hotel. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let's go downstairs because it's so cold. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. So the name of this hotel is called Andon Yokan. Yokan basically just means Japanese style of hotel. They're all over Japan and I've already made a video about what the main differences are between a Japanese hotel and a Western hotel. So if you like that, I'll leave that in the description down below so you can go watch that if you like. So the owner of this whole Yokan, her name is Toshiki Ishii and she started collecting antiques when she was about like 15 years ago. Now that she's got this Yokan, she's filled the whole entire place with antiques all over the place. So especially when you walk into the first room, which has got like the kitchen and the dining area, they've got a little kotatsu, which is a table that has a blanket over the top and a heater underneath it, which is so nice in winter. You can just like sit down and it just warms everything underneath you. And then they've got this big antique cabinet at the back with all kinds of different artwork, little art pieces and little sculptures and things like that. And every single one that she's bought has this really beautiful story behind it. It's the kind of place you walk into and you'd just be like, I feel like everything has a story here. <laughs> Everything's like very particular and it's, it's so beautiful. The part that I find super surprising about all of this is that it's actually really cheap. In Japan, generally, if you stay in a hotel, they make you pay per person. So if there's a price written there, it usually says it's usually that price per person in a double room. So this is a double room right now, I'm pretty sure. And if I was staying here with another person, it would be roughly 4,000 yen per person. It's so about 8,000 total. Or if you're staying by yourself, then I think they've got a single room and that's about 7,000. 500 or something like that. If you're traveling with somebody else, it's actually really quite cheap. It would be only about 4,000 yen per person. That price goes up or down depending on what else you get. They've actually got a bunch of experiences and there's a tea ceremony you can do, an origami workshop, or you can get breakfast downstairs as well. I could have got breakfast today, but I decided not to because I don't normally eat breakfast. And also, oh, I think they do, they've definitely got a vegetarian option here for sure. Um, maybe not vegan, but anyway, that's fine. I don't normally eat breakfast anyway. They've got bicycle rental and they also have something else yeah yeah this place is so so beautiful I'm gonna change locations so it's a little more interesting oh I think I'm doing this all wrong hey Tea. So I got here last night at about seven o'clock ish. It's so interesting when you first get in because all of the corridors, if everything is black and everything, every door has this like strip of light coming down, and then underneath it is where you put your shoes before you before you get into your room actually, because you, you usually don't wear shoes on the tatami mat. So it's very very interesting. It's a very unique kind of style. So this room has a heater or a air conditioner in the summer. What else have we got? Let's go here. Mm. So there is this nice little desk space here. I've got a, a DVD player in case you decide to bring DVDs with you on holiday. So for dinner, Pakushi Sarada. Zen my ganji that I cannot read. Edamame, daisuke, mushrooms, strawberries. Actually probably about $20 worth of strawberries. Huh. I just bought all of this stuff. It was about 12 US dollars. All of the staff speak both Japanese and English. It's very, very, very English friendly. In fact, I've mainly just seen signs written in English. Well, they gave me this giant map of what things there are to see around here. The closest station to here is called Minowa Station. That's on the Hibiya line. You can purchase uh, an onsen ticket, like a like a pass that will let you through to all the different onsens that are around this area. And uh, because apparently there's quite a lot of them, I can see. Uh, Oh, and it also says on the website that the hotel is LGBT friendly. Good to know. They've got free tea and coffee, which you can enjoy any time of the day. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and you can also get like toothbrush, toothpaste, and a shaver, and a, what's it called? Shower cap. So far it seems like the, the shower and the bathrooms, they're like, yeah, fairly average as a 
a regular kind of cheaper hotel would be. But of course the main thing is the jacuzzi, which I'm gonna be doing very, very soon. First, I've gotta do a live stream, which is my first ever live stream, it's very exciting, because I just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Woohoo! Yeah, so I've gotta do a live stream first, and then I get to go in the jacuzzi. Yeah. This is the strangest live stream setup I've ever seen. So this is just like a, a tissue box, like a clear tissue box sitting on top of my tripod because I don't have a mount for my phone. I am an idiot. Hi guys, thank you for watching. Yeah, how do I stop the live stream? Oh no. How do I, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no can I just get the key for oh, the jacuzzi? Ooh. Oh, damn. Wow. As per standard Japanese onsen rules, this isn't an onsen, but they still have the same rules. You're not supposed to wear any clothes in it, and also you're supposed to take a shower before you go in the water. Also, you're not supposed to put your head under face or your hair. So you need to take a shower before you go in so that you're clean, and then the next person who goes in doesn't have to bathe in your human soup. <laughs> looking at it all and then she realized that one of the feet was like placed the wrong way or something like that so she had to like physically go back and turn it around again. I don't know, it just seems like a really nice story that she put up on the website. It just seems that this, um, this jacuzzi is, is definitely the main attraction of the hotel and it's something that the owner really, really, really loves and she wants to share with lots and lots of people so yeah, wow it's so nice, it's so beautiful. specific way of how I'm supposed to fold this up, but I don't know what that is. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much to Andon Yorkan for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you. If you'd like to see more stuff about the hotel and information details and 
room rates and all that. I'll leave that in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!